Russia's war in Ukraine has led to a sea change in a number of areas. In its strategic concept last year, NATO determined that the Euro-Atlantic area was no longer at peace, and the European Union made a similar assessment in its strategic compass. A once pacifist Germany has decided to increase its defense spending and is now sending tanks to Ukraine. But maybe the most important paradigm shift was seen in Sweden and Finland, two traditionally neutral countries that have now decided to join NATO. Turkey is one of the 30 NATO allies that needs to agree to this. Ankara has set forward some conditions for Sweden and Finland to meet. A series of protests that took place in Sweden recently, targeting Turkey in a provocative manner, have angered Ankara. Turkey is hinting that it may now delay the process for Sweden. This is a problem. It will be increasingly important for Ankara and Stockholm to iron out their differences and to ensure that the enlargement process continues.